ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, welcome back to Bawa TV. I'm Samba, I'm your host. Welcome to another episode of uh, my podcast, my interview, my video, how you want to call it. I have a special guest today. I'm really happy he came here to, to, to support the, the podcast. Yeah, for sure. And I cannot wait for you guys to meet him. This, so this video is going to be in English because my brother right here, that he do speak English. Oh, yeah. But but it, uh, f I mean, it, you do speak French. Well, well, well I'm working on my French. I, I'm, st I'm still like a baby. You're still like still a baby. Like, I, I'm learning my ABCs right now. All right, yeah, yeah, learning, <laughs> and, and my vowels and my um, uh, what's the, uh, uh, the vowels and the con the consonants. Yeah, the yeah, consonants. Yeah. yeah. All right, I got you right now, bro. So he, you are, he already start uh, introducing introducing himself already, but uh, I'm really excited to for this podcast because. Uh, we link up pretty easily. He came and uh, shooting this interview right away. So, without further ado, we're going to get this started. Hey, Cuz Cody, how you doing? What's going on, bro? brother uh, Bawa TV? There you Big go. Big salute to you. Hey, I'm honored to be here, be a part of this podcast, this international unity going on. There you go. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you again for coming uh, for the part. So, but... Before we start, um, we're shooting this live from Burkina Faso. We're in the motherland. We're not in America. So it's important to, to mention that. And uh, so, Cuscody, first, first of all, uh, people don't really know you. So can you briefly introduce yourself? Who is Cuscody? What's your background? And uh, where are you originally from? Well, greetings and big blessings, everybody. Greetings and big blessings. Big salute to uh, all of West Africa, all of East Africa, the whole Africa, everybody in the world. Uh, my name is Cuz Cuddy, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Uh, well, well, my name is James, a.k.a. James. Cuz Cuddy. Um, Helen from the uh, the belly of the beast of, of Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte's represent. Yes, yes. Um, and I've been, been traveling now back and forth between the motherland for about three years now. About three years. Yes, yes. Burkina right. Faso was my first stop, um, thanks to JT, the bigger figure. The bigger figure. Salute to your king. Big salute. Big salute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he gave me the motivation and the drive to, to uh, take that step. Because in America, you know, we, we don't really, you know, they feed us lies about Africa. You know, they, mm -hmm. they show us the... the Poor, the negative, mm -hmm. you know, even though you got poor and negative all over the world. Right. It, it you know, nowhere is better is better or or better than the other. So Correct. you know, you got bad things in America too, just like you have bad things in Burkina. Burkina, that's you right. Know, you know, okay. they want people to think Burkina's unstable, but look what just happened in Mexico. Exactly, right. You know what I'm saying? Right there. The, oh. the, the killed the four brothers man. the other day, right? It's that's crazy. insane, man. May their soul rest in peace. Anyway, brother, so basically uh, you say that Burkina Faso was the first country you, you visit after, yeah. uh, I mean, in, in, in the motherland, right? Yes, yes. So was that, did you ever been somewhere else uh, outside the U.S. besides like uh, Burkina? Well, yeah, um, well, my mother was in the military. Okay. She's a retired master sergeant. So we've been traveling all over the world okay. since I was little. So this is not new to you? No, no, traveling is not new. It, it seemed like, it kind of felt like I, I was kind of, being groomed for this. Okay. You know. Okay. I, so, uh, was you, because I know that a lot of African American are actually trying to leave the U.S. and come uh, live in the, in the motherland in Africa. Uh -huh. So, was that something you really thought about before actually watching JT videos and start like, uh, most, and then came here? Most definitely, especially by traveling all over the world. You know, I've, uh -huh. I've experienced different cultures and I always wonder as a kid, like, you know, where my people at? Correct. Well, where, what's going on with my people? You All know, because, right. <laughs> you know, in America, we come from, from slavery. You know, that, that's our, our only, only culture we have is hip hop and, you know, and, and, and Jim Crow and things like that. That's all we know. So, right. you know, in the back of our minds, we're like, man, what, you know, what's going on? Where, I wonder what, what country is my people from in Africa? Where, where did they take my, where did they steal my people from? Okay. So I so think you that's really have every, those questions in your mind. Yeah, I think yeah. all black Americans got that in the back of their mind. They just don't mm -hmm. want to come out and be okay. open with it. But in, in all black Americans' mind, yeah. they, they want to know 
What Where part of from? Africa? Yeah, and then you know you got people saying lies like, "Oh, my people is Indian and right. you know stuff yeah. like that." Man, no fuckers <laughs> from Africa. Somewhere over here, whether it's Burkina Faso, Mali, right. Guinea, mm-hmm. Kenya, yo, yo. somewhere in the motherland. Yeah, somewhere in the motherland. Yeah. Okay. So now, what made you decide that? Okay, maybe I should give it a try. I should go visit Burkina. Uh, is it because JC, JT was already here? Uh, what really uh, made you decide that, okay, maybe Burkina Faso is where I'm trying to go? Yeah, it, I think, um, yeah, by watching JT and following him on, on YouTube and Instagram, it kind of it gave me motivation. It gave me hope. Okay. It, it, gave me, it gave me the drive to go ahead and take that step. Okay. Go ahead and take that step. Take go that ahead and jump on that plane mm-hmm. and get my paperwork right, make sure, you know, everything in America was straight, that I could get a passport. Okay. And go. Go. All right. So when did you get here uh, in Burkina first? Um, what was the date? I don't remember the exact date. Mm-hmm. But the year. Yeah, it's been, been about a year and a half. Year and it's, a half. Been a, it's been a year and a half since, since oh. you first came here? Yes, yeah, since I first came okay. here. Okay. And what was your reaction? Like, that was your first time coming. And I w- do you remember the month? Um, it was I January. January it was, 1st. Okay, so it wasn't that hot because... It really get hot. For those people who cannot handle the heat, yeah, it get hot. maybe you should find another country because this is, I think this is the hottest country in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Burkina Faso is the hottest country <laughs> in the world. So you, in January, you came to Ouagadougou. Who came, who picked you up at the, at the airport? Um, uh, the Bow Foundation. The Bow Foundation. The Bow Foundation. Okay. And uh, how was your first step in Burkina Faso? Because... Like, like I said, this is a French-speaking country. So I will, I will, how long you live here in total? Um, in total, eight months. My, eight months, my first, almost a year. Yeah, my first stay was six months. Mm-hmm. Then I um, went to Kenya. Okay. Then I came back for, no, a year. Because my first stay was like six months. Then mm-hmm. I left, came back for another six months. Okay. Because we had land out in Cabri. Right. And I stayed in the village. And then um, we had some businesses going on, and then uh, JT started the trap flicks. It okay. was up and running, so I w- went back out to Kenya. Mm-hmm. And then I went to America for uh, eight months, okay. a hard eight months. Oh wow! And then I came right back, right back to uh, Africa. To Africa. Africa. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to ask, wanted to ask next is like, um, would you? We're not there yet, but I was the, those six first man in Africa. Did you? Oh, I mean, I, I know that you know this is different than America is, but mm-hmm. uh, how was your experience? Did you enjoy it? There's probably some down part. There's like some part that you will enjoy. So how was the whole experience? I mean, it was it was mind blowing. It was um, it was like meeting family that I never met before. Wow! It, and I was seeing people. I'm like, dang. She looked like my mama. Or this lady <laughs> right here, she looked like my aunt. Oh man, that yeah, look like my yeah. uncle. Right. And I'm I'm and you know, I know that that we we got a mental problem in America because I'm running up, I'm running up to people, talking to people, right, and forgetting that they don't even speak a lot, lot of people don't even speak English. So people looking at me, they smile <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling them, man, you look like such and such, you know, I'm talking to them. Right. And they right, don't even like, understand what, what I'm saying. What the hell is it? Yeah, about? like who is this? I, I don't speak any English. Who English? <laughs> yeah, I don't speak any English. Who is this? He don't speak no French. Right. Get out of my face. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it was like more like uh, everybody looks like like family. someone you know. Yeah, like family. And this is a like, feeling that you probably wouldn't have in in America. No, right. Not. It's it's like you know people be like and they go to different country. They say they have a culture shock. Right. I think that was my culture shock. Seeing seeing wow, this so family. many black people. Yeah, everywhere. being, around, being <laughs> in a black country, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in America, you know, the other people run America, so mm-hmm. you like. We we the bottom of the barrel in America, so right. it's like man. Okay, so that that was something pleasing, and uh, okay, what are other thing? Maybe the food. Yeah, the food was amazing. Food. Best barbecue. Um, did did you have the the poulet flambe? Yeah, the po the poulet uh, 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 on the grill. On the I grill. Had, uh, the artichoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, the brochette. Uh, the brochette. There you go. Okay, you officially booking a bay now. We gonna oh, get, yeah. get you oh, your yeah. passport, I'm, I'm man. I'm addicted. You, you know, the, I'm addicted. You know, you know everything already. So okay, 
And uh, the down part, what would, would you say was the down? Was you uh, accustomed to eat? Like, it was the eat easier for you? Yeah, yeah, the eat, eat it was, wasn't a problem. It wasn't a problem? No, nah, it wasn't a problem. What prob about uh, the internet? Was you, like, because the internet is more expensive out here, and it's actually, you know, it's not reliable. You come and go and stuff like that. Yeah, I had to get used to because I think out here you got to be your own network provider. Like, you got right. orange money, but you got to put the minutes and yeah, convert yeah. your data and <laughs> your talk time. And Correct. I'm like, man, see, we lazy in America, boy. All we got to do is go pay our bill, and they and do everything it. for You're us. you good to go. Good to go. <laughs> out here they got to call way to France and mm. make a connection and do this. And I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, that's too long for you. But yeah, okay. So um, after those six months, you went to Kenya. Another African country. Mm -hmm. How was your experience out there? K Kenya was cool. Um, Kenya, they, they they speak they speak a lot more English. Um, I think English and uh, Swahili. Okay. Um, it's it's a little more developed. Yeah. But it they don't they it's not it's not like they are way developed in Burkina. Uh -huh. They Burkina may be like. Well, I see how development going on now, so Burkina's right behind them. I give Burkina a year. Thank you. Thank you for that. Man. And, uh, shout out to my Kenyan brother as well. But Yeah, big salute, Kenya. Yeah. Big yeah. salute. So for anybody, I mean, maybe your friends are watching this. Here's what I, what I would say. I, I'm from Burkina, right? And um, out here, it's, there's a lot of stuff to work on. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not sure what exactly you're doing in America. If you want to do it here, you'll probably be the only one to do it. Yes. So there's room to, like, create new businesses and, like, start from the bottom and make it all the way to the top. And uh, I was telling the brother out here, my family and I are, like, in the hotel business. And, uh, you know, the store is coming from all over the place. Yes. And there's not enough place. Uh, every day the, the room are booked, right? Yep. So we're, we're thinking about, you know, building more rooms so we can have more, like, people coming. So yes. If you, if you want to come to Africa, consider Burkina Faso because there's a lot of stuff to work on, yeah, whether it will be in the food industry, the hotel, anything. Anything. So, yes. The only part is try to work on your French, but this is not a big deal. You will find somebody who speaks yeah. English, and uh, you can learn the language really easily. To translate the app. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Google. So yeah, yes, thank you can you, use Google. Google, 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 Google Translate and you know work 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 your way throughout uh, Burkina easy. So please visit. It's not dangerous. We out here kicking it, it's drinking natural juice out here. The the the, the female are, are good looking for yeah. our brothers Man. looking for. Ooh, we, I'm for, for someone to marry. Oh yes. Oh I'm yeah. Looking for <laughs> Bay right exactly. Now. Yes. So it, 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 there's really room for anything, pretty much. So, um, yeah, do you want to add anything to, like, because, like I said, I'm really trying to, because I have some friends out there also mm -hmm. from Burkina or from Africa in general that are trying to come back here because we're not going there and try to stay because, you know, there's money to make in, in America yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that. though it, it, it's, it's, it, it's a lot harder right now, there's still money to make, mm -hmm. so go get that money and come invest in Africa. Yes. This is how we're going to, you know, change stuff and build Burkina and build, yep. build Africa in general. So if you want to hide something on that, feel free to do so. Most definitely. For all, all my brothers and sisters in the diaspora, man, get that money. And now's the time. Exactly. Now is the time. You know, I feel like now's the best time mm -hmm. to be alive because, you know, all, our, all the elders that's been pushing – Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're going, they're uh, transcending. Exactly. So now it's our time to, to take the torch and, and keep running with it. I'm happy you, it you're saying that because uh, yes. there's a train. And if you miss that train right now, <sighs> going to leave you behind. Too late, exactly. Too late. So please don't get caught up in your job. Get your passport and come, at least come visit. If, you, if, you, if, you, if you're not going to uh, pack everything and move into the whole other country without coming to visit, First and see if you actually you'll be ab actually be able to live there. So yeah. it's important to come for vacation, stay for uh, a month, and see what's up. You can see maybe okay maybe if you come for a vacation, mm -hmm. you might see something that you can work on that can actually turn out turn yeah. out to be a business for you. Yeah. And I forget to ask you that part because you're not you're not from Burkina. 
how was you able to sustain yourself for the six six months that you spent out here? Well, well, working. Um, I, I I saved up some money, and you know the the American dollar right now, because y'all see the American dollar going up and down. Right. So before the American dollar dies, you know it'll take you a long way in, in, in any country in Africa. All right. Any country. So before the American dollar dies, you know if you got maybe 5,000, 10,000, mm-hmm. and you got an idea or a dream that you want to pursue, mm-hmm. man, bring, bring it here and do it. Exactly. You know, come plant a seed at least. Like you say, come visit for vacation, mm-hmm. plant your seed, and if you right. want to go back and make some more money so you could make it bigger, right? you know, do that. But exactly. come plant your seeds. There you go. Plant your seeds and just let it grow. Okay. So that's actually great advice for people because out here, if you want to work here, I, I, I know that J, JT also, also, I used to follow JT a lot. Mm-hmm. If you're coming from America, you don't want to come out here and work for somebody. No, you want to be a job yeah. creator. Exactly. Yeah, create you're jobs. You're not going to make that much money out here. I mean, unless you, like, went to college and you have a crazy degree and you yeah. can work for, like, an international company.